Hello and welcome back to the back snacks. Mm -hmm. Where we are waiting for this beautiful creature to make its way through tripwire into the water so I can <gasps> I forgot Oh I forgot the shrinking stuff. And I just <laughs> hopefully I'll make it. I completely forget about it. And I think it didn't affect it. Anyway. Can I even... No! I cannot throw it that high. Um. <laughs> So I need to uh, a way to a shrink it, b throw it into the water. This place seems suitable. Kinda. But the only place? No, it's not really suitable. Because how the hell am I supposed to get it done? Might be high enough. No, if it's not gonna work anyway. <sighs> really? I have an idea. But I have to check it out first. It works great, fantastic. Which means I should be able to throw something. help here with getting everything done well, unless I can really could I could really do it over here yeah give me that give me that back I'm gonna put this all, all of the stuff I'm gonna do it here um because, you know, it just flies on the ferret over here, so it might just, well, fly into the water. Do I have to time it correctly? So it goes the round, then goes over here. Hmm. Wait, you caught one of you, right? Yep. That's definitely not gonna make it. Yeah. Come on, higher, higher, higher! It won't work. Are you... Ah! So aggravating. It's on its way! Come on, come on, come on, come on. And I'm screwed. Because I won't... Ah! Are you freaking kidding me? 
Hi. I honestly hate it. So, be right back. Okay, so apparently it can be brought down to water. Which, for some reason, I won't do. <laughs> Let's see. My baggy ball. Hot sauce. Okay, just how am I supposed to... It really won't fly into the water, though. It did. Okay, great. Now all I need is some shrink stuff. Oh my god. Why it didn't react to the sauce earlier? I have no idea. Please tell me you're still in the water. You are still in the water. Great. Just stay there. I will shrink you. And then, and then I'll catch you. <laughs> Come on. Don't stop running now. Are you freaking kidding me? I hate you so much. Because it won't even work. Run, 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 run. Get another one. Oh, if, I, uh, if only I didn't have to go for such lengths, like going back and forth so far away. Yeah, pull it easier. It just gonna work. A sec. For some reason, they just won't be affected by the source. Okay, great, I got it. Should buy me some time. Finally. Oh! Great, you come with me. <laughs> That's a very lovely voice, but I still hate you uh, for being so evasive, even though you are not at all evasive. Um. You have box. Where's your box? There's your box. Box of purity, ticket masala. There you go. I've put the snack in the box. Thank you. I swear I'm not going to eat it this time. Of course. Nay, for I seek the very essence of bug <coughs> snacks. That spirit which drives them to create their poisonous delights. Unfortunately, I have no grumpin' clue how to do that. You could ask Flufty. <gasps> Flufty? Yes. Are you out of your grumping mind? One would never consult with that wicked alchemist. You said you wanted to learn. Yes, one wants to learn, not to receive long-winded insults. But one must admit, when it comes to delving into the Forbidden, there is none more bold than Floofty. Oh, well, if that is how it must be, then may the mother protect me. <laughs> ah, Shelda, you seem to be dangerously close to my personal space. If you're here to trap me in a spell circle again, I will inform you that I could leave at any time and I was merely acting. Temper your contemptuous heart. One is here on a quest for understanding, to unlock the forbidden knowledge of bug snacks. Oh, and you've come to me. Why don't you ask your mother naturally? Or Crystal or whatever you talk to. The path is shrouded at the moment. One believes that clearing this impasse requires a more scientific lens. How interesting. Are you certain? I'm given to understand that I exude a fetid aura of utter evil from every pore. You are reckless and arrogant and so, so rude. 
But one does not truly believe that you are evil. <laughs> well, I have little time nor patience for your games. If you want to know something, stop speaking like a horoscope and ask. Ugh. I want to know the essence of bug snacks. What is it they're made of? If I can understand that, then I might know whether they're actually separate from Mother Nature or born from the darkness of her history. I'm not about to resolve your philosophical quandaries. There is no answer to the why of the universe. Bug snacks simply exist. However, since you've finally taken an interest in my studies, then just this once I will educate you. I can show you how to extract live snack matter for microscopic viewing without that matter denaturing. Ah, but if I were to explain it to a very small infant, denaturing is... I know what denaturing means. You do? I'm here to learn about bug snacks, not vocabulary. Ah, uh -huh. very well then. Our lesson should proceed smoothly. Step one of 17, preparing an adequate formalin solution. Thank you for encouraging this old lady to learn something new. Now you better leave us to it. I sense this may take a while. It probably will. By the way, Fluffy, are you done? How is the analysis going? Blast it all! I do not need your distractions. I've obtained dried particles of plant slurry, but I have no way to analyze them. It's like living in the Stone Age out here. Perhaps if I had a particle separator, an electron microscope, and a degree in botany... Mm, bah. Plants are not my area of expertise. We do know an herbalist. You cannot be serious. I would sooner eat my bow tie than listen to a word of Shelda's advice. What are you afraid of? Afraid? I simply do not want to waste my valuable time being lectured on archaic moral dichotomies. You're out of your depth here. Yes. I admit that I am frustrated. Under normal circumstances, I could do this without assistance. <sighs> Very well. Since you clearly won't stop pestering me about this, let us go see Shelda. Thank you. One senses the reek of a foul. Oh, you prison. were so you did so well last time. Shelda. I am here on business. I've been informed that you may possess a rudimentary understanding of phytochemical reactions, which I am in need of. <gasps> Strike the stars from the sky! The wicked one has come to me for guidance. But surely one's ancient ways are far too primitive compared to the miracles of modern science. I do not appreciate your sarcasm. If you do not wish to help me, then simply say so and be gone with you. One would never. It is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it, no matter how undeserving they may be. Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it, and be quick about it. Please. Hmm, ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. <laughs> Though its purpose I cannot condone. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the olfactory realm to find the answers you seek. Waft. Don't sniff. I know that. <sighs> so many subtle aromas. Witch hazel? Cinnamon? Uh, black tea? Each a natural remedy for inflammation. And among these astringents... <coughs> oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid. A common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. Floofty, did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? Well, this has been surprisingly not yes. a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And you're welcome. Okay, so there's that. I check on Trithon's progress. Where is she exactly? I don't remember. By the way, can we see this place in here now? Yes, broken tooth. We saw him. Oh, I don't want to see that. 
Oh right, I think she was in there. No, Don't. No, no, no Yep, she's in here. How are you doing? Any luck with the rubble? Oh, it's not going too good. I'm starting to worry I might never see the inside of this temple. Maybe Chandler could prefer... I don't know, maybe he could. But if I put him in any danger, Snorpy's gonna hear about it. And then I'll hear about it every day for the rest of my life. Okay, maybe Fluffy could figure something out. No one them. They go and whip up some chemical that dissolves rocks and only takes three-fourths of their blood to make. It's safer for them if I don't ask. And maybe Sheldon knows a secret oh, in? That could be. But I don't know that I need even more riddles to solve. Besides, I've heard the sounds her back makes. She could really use a lie down. Okay, maybe they could all work together to open it. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Sure, teamwork would really help out here. But those grumps can't go more than an hour without starting a big fight, and I, uh, I just freeze up. You know, I'm an expert in my field and all, but I'm not a management type. It's better if I just concentrate on my work and let them cool off on their own. You really don't think they can cooperate? To be honest, no, I don't. These kind of spats, they just fester and grow, and before you know it, civilization collapses. Look, some folks just don't get along. Some mysteries just go unsolved. There's nothing I can really do about it. But at least we gave it a shot. I'll see you back at camp. Really? You give up that easily? Okay. Whatever then. No, no, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Thank you. By the way, I still have to catch you. So if I'm not correctly... Oh, and I have to shrink you as well. Since you are all opened up now. Whoa! Give me a second there then. We'll do two trips. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that life cycle of a rumpus? Oh, we'll check it out later. So I just not noticed that. Can I catch you with that? Nope. Is there something you like? No. So retract it. Um. Okay, let's use this over here. And use it on the tree, please. Use it, use it on the tree. Nice. Anything else that was here? No. I think it was only the spider. So what was I talking about? Two trips? Oh, right, him. <laughs> I already forgot about those guys. Actually, you can get them by the water, I think. And with that, I want to see if Spider will get catch it on its own. Hey, you! Catch it! Cheese? And if I use cheese on it? It certainly helped, but no. I still need to find a way to do this. No, oh, you really hate it. Thank you. That's what we got. Yeah, 
Then this guy. Oh, it will be all of them for now. Okay, it seems that he's protected by this. Not for long. Okay, it works. <laughs> I didn't expect it to work, but it didn't. I'm happy about that. The only one left is this mysterious one. Probably boss of the arena. Okay, Chandler, your turn. What do you want to investigate? Bro, I gotta see if eating these big bug snacks will make me big Chandler. Okay, what do you want? I saw this huge snack lifting stuff near the river. Big lifting? You know I gotta get me some of that! Clubsteroni, okay, there you go. Clubs? Something in particular? No, so your nose. Whoa. I could eat that. <laughs> oh, yeah! I can feel the lifting energy inside me. But I didn't get bigger at all. I guess I didn't get huge eating that big bunger either. You know what, bro? I'm just gonna admit to myself that it's not gonna work. That was fast. Move on. Guess that means my investigation's over already. What do I do now? I don't know, Chael trying to all the bugs next to fight. Bro, if I can't handle Big Bunger, I don't stand a chance against the rest. Goals for the future, maybe. Okay, help the others investigate. I'm already helping where I can, bro. But I'm not a scientist. Mm. Floofty said if I touch their lab again, they'd give me an excoriating worthy of my fatuity. Just sit back and rag then. Relax, huh? I guess it's been a while since I just chilled. I've been so busy fixing up Snacksburg, training, life coaching, and, you know, I've always got to take care of Snorpy. What the grump? Let's hang! We ought to shoot some hoops! Let's shoot hoops. All right! Hoops, 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 hoops! I already have to... <laughs> You okay, know the rules, dog. Yes. We're gonna take turns shooting hoops. First one to make five baskets wins. Go ahead and shoot your first shot. You got one point. My Yay. turn. <laughs> nice one point. That's two points for my turn. <laughs> Two nice. points for me. Yep. Three points, dog. My turn. <laughs> oh, oh, I missed. I'm not gonna miss though. You got four points. Yep, My I did. turn. <laughs> I got Ooh, three points. Nice. My turn. <sighs> I missed. <laughs> ah, four points for the Chan Man. Yes, indeed. Whoa, five points! You won, dog. The victory is mine. I didn't know you were such a baller. We gotta have a rematch sometime. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing with me, bro. Now that we're done hanging. I gotta get back to Snacksburg. I gotta go check on Snorpy. Snorpy's doing fine on the beach. You sure about that, dog? Yes. One time I saw Snorpy lose a fight with a crapple. But that's not the point. Oh, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. This is the longest I've been away from Snorpy in years. And he's not okay without me. How about this? I'm gonna need some... Big energy for the trip back. You get me two of the biggest, strongest bug snacks on this island, and I'll stick around till I'm fueled up. There you go. Sally sticks. Uh, for your teeth, I guess. Yeah. 
And pillow bite, pillow bite. Hi. Or your nose. I think I ate too much. So good though. No regrets. Oh. Oh, hey, while you were out there, I've been thinking. Before I go, I need some major guidance. Normally, there's stuff I can't talk about because Snorpy's always listening in. So, if not now, when? Let's get you some guidance. All right, Shelda's waiting. <laughs> Wait, with Shelda? Hey, Sheldog, can I get some of your wisdom? Always, my child. I'm worried about Snorpy. <sighs> Once more shall you be reminded. Snorpy is safer than we, Chandlo. Ease your burden. That's... that's not what I mean. I'm worried about the way he's been. All the paranoid stuff, the anxiety. I thought bringing Snorpy out here, out into nature, it might mellow him out. Flush all the bad vibes out of his system. But it's only gotten worse. I've known Snorpy all my life, but it feels like he's getting further away from me and, and I just don't know what to do. Uh, one must, in the path of the mother. No, uh, hold on. One does not want one's words to be misinterpreted when one says, that boy needs therapy. Well, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I'm trying to do that. I make sure he's safe. I listen to his problems. I try to help him feel valid. All that stuff. Chandlo, you are strong and wise and wonderful. And you can do everything to support him. But you cannot fix him. Understand? Snorpy is lost in a maze of his own making, and it will take a professional to help him escape. That's a lot to take in. I need to think about it. Thanks for your wisdom, Shelda. You'll thank me when you actually take my advice. Hey, bro. While I'm still out here, I want to talk to Triffany and Floofty too. There's still more I gotta know, you know? Sure, let's go straight to it then. Um, Triffany, Chandler wants to talk to you. Oh, I'm happy to chat with Chandlo. Let's meet by the campfire. What's going on, Chandlo? Triffany, you know about history and like ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well, I've done some research on my own, and uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. At least not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. <laughs> Real conspiracies can't happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati, but aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts and they kind of make sense. Kinda is the important word here, though. Look, there are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. Oh, Chandlo, that's not... Uh, what I... Bup, 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 let it go, my child. Point is, Snorpy might be a talented engineer, but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to bias, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Thanks for talking to me, Triff Dog. No problem. And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies throughout history, you know where to find me. Okay, Fluffy, your turn. Chandler wants to talk to you. Oh, I suppose it was only a matter of time. Tell Chandler I will be with him shortly. Are we here to speak ill of my brother? I will gladly go first. Complaint one of 294. No, no, that's not why I asked you here. But I do want to talk about Snorpy. 
He wasn't like this when we were kids, right? I mean, he wasn't always so on edge, was he? Snorpington has always had his imagination and his moral compass. But no, I suppose he's gotten markedly more distraught since our project's dissolution. What happened between you two? I mean, I heard some of it from him, but I always wanted to hear your side too. And Snorpy doesn't really like me talking to you. Oh, I'm aware. I have a pile of threatening letters to that effect. However, I will gladly take this opportunity to set the record straight. We were working together on a government-funded research project. Advanced prosthetics that are ten times stronger than an ordinary grumpus. But our dear Snorpington discovered that the government had less than savory plans for that technology. And despite my protestations, he tried to make those plans public knowledge. Well, yeah, I don't blame him. Even you got to admit, that's pretty jacked up, dog. Am I the world's only optimist? That technology would have saved lives. If it must either exist with some consequences or not exist at all, I think the choice is clear. Easy to say when you aren't the one living with the consequences. Yeah, <laughs> where did you come from? Shoo! <sighs> Unfortunately, Snorpington agreed with you. He tried to play whistleblower, but before he could make a sound, we were both fired. And after that, there was a campaign to slander both of us, to discredit any allegations he might still make. So, there really was a conspiracy against you two? <laughs> if you must call it that. But only the most boring sort with paperwork and lawsuits. Still, that means it's not all in his head. Don't mistake justification for reason. Snorpicton has moved well beyond the realities of our situation. All right, Flifty. Thanks for telling me all that. Mm, happy to have enlightened you. Honestly, I expected this conversation to involve more shouting and headlocks. No, not this time. We're cool. But hey, we should talk more often. And maybe I can show you how to headlock me! Perhaps. But for now, my work beckons. Are we done with the sound? But actually, I think we are done f Well, for today we are. Now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!